If you want to beat your competitors, you need to steal their best keywords. Hi everyone, I'm Neil Patel and today I'm going to break down one free tool to steal your competitors' best keywords that you'll be able to rank for. Before we dive into this free tool and how you can use it, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. So I want you to use the traffic analyzer report on Ubersys. So go to ubersys.com or neilpatel.com slash ubersuggest and put in a competitor URL. If you don't know a competitor, search for any keyword you want to rank for and your competitors are there on page one. And in that traffic analyzer report, you'll see the traffic your competitor is getting, their top pages, and even the keywords that they're ranking for. Look at the keywords report. This will show you all the keywords that your competitor is getting traffic from. And now look for the keywords with decent search volume, ones that are at least 200 searches a month, if not 1,000 plus searches a month, and ideally have an SEO difficulty score of less than 40 or 50. These are keywords that are easier to rank for that you can get results quickly versus waiting six months or a year for. And then what I want you to do is start creating content around those keywords. Also, I want you to use the similar websites report to identify websites that rank for similar keywords compared to your website and other competing websites. So when you do the similar websites report in Ubersess, you can end up seeing all the websites that rank for similar keywords to yours because these sites are also going for the same keywords that you're going for. That report also shows you all the keyword opportunities. These are the keywords that they rank for that you don't rank for. Look at those keywords. Take them and look for the ones that are relevant enough for you to go and create content around. Now at this point, you probably have hundreds if not thousands of keywords. You're like, Neil, I don't have time to create all this content. I want you to group them into buckets. For example, if I had a website on dog food, I would put ones related to miniature dogs and dog food for them, dog food for dogs that are overweight. I would talk about um, organic dog food, and I don't have a pet, so I don't know much about dog food, but you get the point, right? You wanna bucket them together. Maybe some are based on weight loss, some are based on weight gain, some are based on organic. And then I want you to take some of those keywords and pop them into the keyword ideas report within Ubersuggest. There's actually a button there that shows you which keywords you can rank on page one for. You just pop in your URL and it'll help filter out those keywords and tell you which ones you actually have a shot for today and create content around them. When you do this, you'll then start creating content that you can get results for in the short run versus waiting months from now or years from now. In addition to that, what I want you to do is focus on specific topics related to your industry. So let's say if I was creating a digital marketing blog, I wouldn't just talk about digital marketing, I may focus on SEO first and create content only around SEO. Then after I've hammered down all the SEO topics without regurgitating myself and without repeating the same content, because you don't want multiple articles on the beginner's guide to SEO, because all that'll do is confuse Google on which page to rank. And once you do that, what you'll find is Google will see authority within that niche, and then you can expand to email marketing articles. And then you can expand to conversion rate optimization articles. Then you can expand into articles really around paid ads for Google, and then paid ad articles around uh, Facebook ads. And eventually, you could have encompassed all of digital marketing. But by focusing your efforts, you'll be authority within your niche. So then, as you start creating more and more content, you'll rank for head terms in your niche without having as big of a domain authority or as many backlinks as a lot of the competitors that are already ranking. That's how you also beat sites like Wikipedia. You don't need more backlinks or domain authority than them. You just need to be the authority within your niche. If you do that, you'll be able to steal traffic away from your competitors and rank better. If you want my team to just do this for you, make sure you check out NP Digital, my ad agency. If you have any questions when you're doing this, Leave a comment below and I'll answer it and help you out. If you enjoy the video, like it, share it, tell people about it. Thank you for watching.